a pouch, and inside the pouch is a bike cover from TCMT. This one is 2XL, which I did some measurements on the bikes and I thought this was what I should get. I don't know. I think it's gonna cover the uh, the bobber and then some, but uh, better it be covered too much, I guess, than not enough. Now we're just gonna put the cover over your bike let it sleep for the winter so let's get this on make sure everything's cooled down you don't want to melt your cover to your bike that would really suck so all right so that covers it uh all the way down it's got straps on it as well you can strap it under here if you're gonna have it outside the element so it doesn't blow up or blow off uh, let me get the other ones on and I'll join you back. Here's a look of the TCMT covers. Uh, that one is a 4XL that fits over the Springfield nicely with a um, sissy bar on it, so that's good. And this is the double XL on the Scout. Fits a little weird because the Scout has nothing on the back, it's just a back tire but it still covers everything, which is great. These are both obviously in red. And then we've got the Royal Enfield is covered up in a, this one's also a double XL, probably could go a little smaller on that one, but it fits nice, covers everything. And that's in the gray. So thanks to TCMT for these. Um, they're actually really cool. Nice thing about them is they also come with pouches. So when the springtime hits, I'll fold these up, put them back in the pouches, and they stay clean for next year's use. Um, the Suzuki back there in the corner, I put my old blue cover on. As you can see, that thing's filthy because I don't have covers to put them in. Um, so it doesn't get treated the same way, but awesome. So now all the bikes are winterized. The only thing now to do 